Hi guys, welcome to Peak Energy Circuits. This is circuit number one. We're going to complete four exercises over a circuit of 50 seconds on with 20 seconds rest. I've got the interval pro app on my phone for free, which is going to time us. First, we're going to go through a quick technique. We're going to start with a side to side combo. Start in a standing plank, hips under, abs engage. We step to side. On the third one, little press. We have knees, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then from here, we get up. We're going to do a cardio knee. Step back into a deep lunge. Drop your body weight forward, keeping a straight line. We're going to bring your knee in. The lower you go, the harder you're going to work your hamstrings and your glutes. From here, we stand up. Feet in line with your hips. We squat down, leaning forward, and kick back. Squat down kick back. Keep a nice straight line with your back. Aim to kick as high as you can and drop nice and low. Last one, high knees. We're going to keep the feet out high and we're going to join that with a burpee. We jump, drop down and back up. Circuit two, we'll start with quick technique. We start with boxing abs. You start drawing up tall, back nice and straight, feet and knees in line with your hips, shoulders back, chest open. We drop down, keeping the back nice and straight, controlling naturally through the curve of the spine. When we lift back up, we lift up from under the chest, pulling up again straight, and we lean across with a punch, so we're throwing our body sideways. Then control down, we come up again from the chest, and we throw a punch the other way. So we're getting a good twist, working with the obliques as well as your main abdominal column. Now if you find that you're struggling to get up, take your legs just a little bit lower, this makes it a bit easier so you can pull up and come across. Okay, next we're moving on to plank. Turning over, shoulders back, chest open, hips under, abs engaged. You're going to lift and tap, lift and back. Lift and tap, lift and back. Doesn't matter if it's only a little lift or if you need to you can be here to start. You can get a big lift, you're going to work your glutes, your back and your abs that much harder. From here we're turning back over, we're going to do a static hold. We're going to lean back, again engaging through the core, keeping nice straight lines, picking the feet off and we're going to hop. We're just going to squeeze here, then when I say, you lift the legs and control down as slow as you can. We don't need to pull back up, we can sit, and then we start again, we hold. If you can't do the up, it doesn't matter, you can go from here, and again, as slow as you can, drop to the floor. Last one, start press ups. Bit more arms. We're doing this start. We're going to take it wide with hands and with feet. So we're going to work the core harder. So take your hands a couple of inches wider than you normally would. Keep the fingers spread to spread the weight. Take the feet out just as wide. Draw the body weight forward up onto your toes as much as you can. And then drop through here. This allows you to work deeper into the chest and to give your core more control. So you're dropping forward, working really hard through the abs. We've got 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. Right, get your water and let's go.